Let's talk about basketball now, Nat. <laughs> Three players from the Golden State Warriors, along with other members of the Warriors organization, they went behind the walls of San Quentin Prison over the weekend. And this is a tradition that's been going on for years. Golden State challenged a team of inmates to a game of basketball. Greg Lee reports. San Quentin State Prison, one of the most infamous lockups in the nation. Inside this gate, barbed wire and watchful guards monitor incarcerated people that include the nation's largest death row population, a system that's being dismantled. On this day, none of that matters. All eyes on the basketball court in the recreation yard, where the home team, San Quentin Warriors, squared off against the Golden State Warriors. It's a win-win. The Warriors is winning. My money's on the San Quentin Doves. I'm sorry, fellas. The visiting team made up of coaches and support staff from a franchise that's won four of the last eight NBA championships. Right. There's an excitement on our end to be here because you know, it's a different experience for everybody. Honestly, really inspiring. You see how hard they play, the teamwork they play with. You can tell this didn't happen overnight. This is the ninth time this game has been played at San Quentin. The official record, Golden State 5, San Quentin 3, but it's about much more than a game. A lot of these guys got a lot more wisdom than I done had. They done had experiences that I've never had, and they just talking about their perseverance and the things that they think about to keep their minds strong or whatnot. And they give us life, you know what I'm saying? It still make us feel like we... We're still human. When society pours into a prison to forgive you for what you've done and offer unconditional opportunities and love and just bond with you on a basketball court with income and wealth, but status doesn't mean anything. The only thing that matters is can you play? After four quarters, San Quentin's team defended home court 85 to 80. While the game is now over, the man-to-man -man conversations, the self-reflection, and the joining of these Warriors families creating memories that won't soon fade away.